KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Monday the 8th of July. I'm James Spann. All eyes this week will be on the northern Gulf of Mexico where a tropical depression or storm is expected to form. What does that mean for the Deep South? We'll talk about that as we go, see if we can answer all your questions. We'll start with the upper air look today as we typically do. And you can see the main westerlies are north of here, troughing in the northwest, ridging for the central U.S., troughing in the northeast. We have a weak flow aloft here. There's the visible satellite view, and there's a little vorticity center coming down through uh, western Georgia, and that's producing some showers and thunderstorms, mainly over west and south Alabama. The northern half of the state is dry. That was the radar at 232. Got some pretty healthy storms in counties like Lamar, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Pickens, Green Hale, Perry. Those are moving slowly to the southwest. Temperatures in Tuscaloosa cool because of the rain elsewhere, mostly low 90s. Good chance we'll see mid-90s in here tomorrow. There's the watch warning map, and we've got heat advisories for parts of the Mississippi Gulf Coast and southeast Louisiana. Most of the severe weather issues are way north of here. We have an enhanced risk of severe storms through tonight for parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. Severe storms possible across the Great Plains and a marginal risk on the middle Atlantic coast. This is tomorrow, and this is Wednesday. A risk of severe storms from the Great Lakes down into the Central Plain states. We're in the green. That means we'll have scattered storms around. Rain for the next seven days. Now, this map's going to be a challenge because we now have a tropical system in play. Uh, in Alabama, the, the heavier numbers are obviously, for the moment, down south. This is suggesting Mobile. Uh, maybe going over 5 inches, over 4 inches for some other places south of U.S. 84. Amounts to the north, around 1 inch for Huntsville, 2 and a half inches for Birmingham. As the tropical system develops, this will change with time. Just be aware of that. But obviously, the Gulf Coast looks pretty wet over the next seven days. Here's tropical outlook from the uh, Hurricane Center. They identify the a little vorticity center over Georgia that is inland. That happens sometimes in the early season, an inland system drifting down into the Gulf. Uh, that's the 48-hour outlook. This is the outlook beyond 48 hours. And you can see that they've got an 80% chance of development in the northern Gulf. And real quick, we'll peek at the modeling here. Let me just show you the uh, output of the ensemble mean. And this is really what you want to look at. This takes all the members of the ensembles and puts it together as an average, a mean. The GFS depicts a broad tropical low southwest of Morgan City. The European, quite frankly, in about the same place. The model consistency is getting good. And understand the heaviest rain will be along and east of that surface low there. So Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the Florida Panhandle will be on the onshore flow side. And that means there should be deep tropical moisture in place. And uh, rain will obviously be the big issue here. And maybe some flooding. Obviously, riptides and rough surf will be a problem. Uh, gusty winds, and there could be an isolated tornado or a water spout along and east of that uh, track. But remember, we're not going to have much skill in giving you a track and timing until this thing actually forms. It initiates in the northern Gulf, and then we'll have a pretty good idea. But for now, the global models want to push it west toward Texas, but again, that puts us in that deep moisture. And the question is, how will North Alabama you know, fair with rain, because quite frankly, we could use some. I think most people could. Let's go to the GFS deterministic uh, here. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Pretty good trough up north. Got ridging around here. And I think for most of Alabama, tomorrow just kind of hot and dry. There could be a shower or storm, mainly near the Georgia border and over south Alabama. For much of north and west Alabama, the day just looking hot and dry with mid-90s. Now, Thursday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, moisture does begin to increase and will increase the chance of scattered showers and storms. Still not going to rain everywhere, but the broad surface slope begins to form in the northern Gulf and deeper moisture is pulled up in here. And then Thursday looks pretty wet. The surface low is a little to the southwest of New Orleans, if this verifies. And again, uh, Thursday would be a mostly cloudy day with occasional showers and storms, the high 87 to 90. And then Friday, the surface low drifts over toward Lake Charles. A tropical low, maybe a depression. And this could be a storm. If it gets a name, the name would be Barry. 
And this shows deep tropical moisture over most of Mississippi, Alabama, and the western part of Georgia. So if this verifies the idea of this uh, tropical low moving westward through the northern Gulf, that should bring some good rains to much of Alabama later this week. Saturday, the surface low drifts into Texas. And again, we're still in a very moist air mass here. Remember, don't focus on that low, that L you see there near Corpus Christi. Uh, the rain mass will extend out hundreds of miles to the east of that. Uh, so that's the deal. And then Sunday looks pretty wet as the uh, surface low should be inland. So the weather looking pretty unsettled for Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. C mostly cloudy, occasional showers and storms, highs most likely mid to upper 80s on most days. And then a week from next, or a week from today, Monday the 15th, again, ridging and uh, still pretty deep tropical moisture in place, so at least scattered showers and storms should be about. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 18th. Again, got a ridge over the Gulf, and that looks typical for summer. Hot, muggy, a few scattered storms. Now, this is the QPF output from the GFS. We're looking for the ensemble mean. That's the green. And for Birmingham, it's now up to about three and a half inches. Some of the members of the ensemble push it up over six inches. So we've got a crack at getting some beneficial rain for the northern half of the state. And again, there's a lot of uncertainty. We can't guarantee that yet. And the numbers, you can see at highs drop in the 80s for a while. Uh, as clouds and showers increase out there toward uh, mid-July, then creeping back in the low 90s. But no sign of any really excessively hot weather. By that, upper 90s or triple digits. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.